Tetsu is coming this way! It has beasts across the plains in a panic, and our Ronek are practically paralyzed with fear. We must get them to safety! We can assist by helping to calm the creatures. Once they're less agitated, it should be possible to hurt them. After they're out of harm's way, we'll deal with the Ronek Reaver. I suggest you remain here to attend to the Ronek when they arrive. They'll be safe with me. Please, be careful out there. Make haste! We must protect the Ronek! Don't worry, we're right behind you. shall be left behind. There must be something up ahead. Come! There! He's far no match for the likes of us.
It seems that did the trick. <sighs> For the fodder, at least. But where's... Cost me my life. I will save the head soul. Concern yourself with me. Get the Ronak to safety. There, there. You've nothing to fear. Right. Let's finish the job. I made a vow to our people. You shall plague them no longer! You'll find the vow of reason! It's not without the sword. Legs. 
well placed piercing round to the chest and... You're done for! That stem the flow of protective ether! We did it. The Etso, are they? The Ronek have all mated to Mechwa Hetsuan. Hunters are scouring in the area for any remaining threats. But the local fauna appear to have calmed down. We cannot thank you enough for your timely aid. You, most of all, Bow of Reason. We feared you would be loath to take direct action, yet you didn't hesitate to put your life on the line for our Hetzo. I did no more than as a Dawn Servant's duty. The ethereal conductivity of those scales is astounding. I dare say we could repurpose them to create a device that emits controlled pulses of ether. Ether resembling that of the predator the Ronek fear most. It might work. If we struck the right balance, we would have the means to deter the Ronek from approaching the railroad without causing them undue distress. Incredible! Kona, you've done it again! 
I must say, I was hoping I'd never have to see one of these again. Still haven't forgotten the last one. And it's been more than 20 years now. I had come as a traitor to the camp in Lozenihetta. A camp that was obliterated in an instant by that monster. Lozenihetta? That's where the Pelu Pelu trader found me as a babe. Please, can you tell me what you saw? As I said, I had traveled there to trade with our fellow Hetzaro. Like us, they followed the Ronak. And like us, they were visited by a reaver. The fiend struck like a whirlwind in the night. It was chaos. I grabbed some token belongings and bolted in a panic, thinking only of getting as far away as possible. But even in my panicked state, I could not help but notice the young couple racing the other way, toward the fell creature. We'll distract it, I heard one cry. Save our son! Save the Hetzel! After that, nothing but the pounding of my heart and feet and road at thunder. I ran and ran, and as the sun broke the horizon, I found myself separated from both man and beast. Windborne words say that a group of survivors reunited with their remaining Ronek and have long since moved on. But still more were never seen again, including the brave couple. Or so the story goes. And... what became of their child? I'm afraid I don't know. But if he wasn't with the survivors, even if he lived through that night, the wilderness wouldn't have been kind to a little one out on his lonesome. Maybe not, but perhaps a passing Pelu Pelu would. And one day, even a done servant himself. All these years, I was convinced that my parents had left me behind to follow after the Ronek. But now I see, they didn't abandon me. They were trying to keep me safe. I've wasted so much time resenting them, when in truth, they gave me everything I have today. It is thanks to them that I live to know the warmth a family, even after they were gone. And now that I am done, servant, all of Tuli, your law is my family. A family I will always protect, as my parents protected me.
She looks as good as new. If I had time to do a proper job, could have really made her shine. Had to cobble together the exterior with spare parts. We refurbished the interior, though. Not that you can appreciate it from out here. But as far as the Ronek are concerned, we've spared no effort. From the ballast to the ties, we've adjusted every bit of the track so she'll run quiet as a field mouse. You and your crew have worked wonders. Our nation is in your debt. Come now. If anything, credit's due to Tuliola. It's thanks to the folk you recruited from every corner of the continent that we were able to get her up and running so quickly. Besides, the ethereal whistle's the true marvel, and we wouldn't have that without the scales you brought us. However grateful you are, know that we're even more thankful. Right. If we're done talking, let's put this train through our paces! Test our whistle. On it. Just point it in the general direction and... It's moving away. Meanwhile, our friends over there appear wholly unperturbed. With this, we can alert those who wander too close without disturbing the rest of the herd. A roaring success! In a quiet way, like. Then with your permission, Vow of Reason, the Shock Terrell Railroad is back in service! <laughs> 